We've already heard of a bunch of South American countries emptying their mental health facility hospitals and jails and saying, head on up to America. And so how are they vetting at the border? We don't have 42 anymore, so we can't turn them around if they're sick. So they can just come in and be like, oh, I was persecuted in my homeland, so let me in. And we're letting them in? Unfortunately, we are. Uh, they're not only letting them in through Title VIII, but again, you've got to pay attention closely to what Secretary Mayorkas is saying. When they do mass releases of individuals, what they're saying is we're not actually putting them in Title VIII any longer. We're actually putting them into the parole pro program, which is distinct and separate. And once you put them into parole, likely for two years, you can't remove them, even if you encounter them. Um, can Congress so change that, Chad, by the way? I'll ask my next guest, but can Congress yeah. change that rule so that if a new president and a new Senate takes over in two years or a year and a half, rather, we can change that and expel them? Well, you can. You can okay. cancel parole. You can cancel parole at any time. The, okay. the big question, though, is trying to identify where they are and right. then to actually remove them. So, yes, you can have a new set of policy priorities that actually target individuals and remove them. Again, they have no legal right to be here. 